हे गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस ट्यूटोरियल्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द टाइम डिफरेंस बिटवीन टाइम आउट एंड टाइम इन विदाउट एनी एडर वाइल वी आर वर्किंग ऑन टाइम शीट बिकॉज द लास्ट टाइम दैट वी अपलोडिड ए वीडियो ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल अबाउट हाउ टू प्रीपेयर टाइम शीट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल वी हैड ए लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स ऑन दैट वीडियो when we read those comments we realize that most of the people are facing the same problem that uh, when they try to calculate the time difference between time out and time in sometimes they have some error and they cannot even figure out what is that error and how they can solve that error so they have to work manually that takes a lot of time so in this video we will uh, first of all we will discuss what is that error why this error happens and then we will try to figure out that error that how we can solve that problem or that error so that instead of working manually we can use some fun function or formula and we can save a lot of our time right so now i think we should start our tutorial here you can see we have a sample data in which we have serial number employee name employee number shift type time in and time out these three columns that you need to focus upon to understand this tutorial as you know whenever we prepare time sheet the one thing that we need to calculate is the difference between time out and time in so that we can know how many hours an employee has worked actually right so for that what we do we simply minus time in from time out so for that what we do equal sign time out minus time in and this is the actual hours worked by an employee we just drag it down and you can see here this is the error that i'm talking about the most of the people face this problem or this error you can see this is simple 17 minus 8 this is simple 9 17 minus 9 simple this is it but here you can see this is error why the thing is behind this error is that actually the time behaves same like numbers you can see here if we minus 17 from 8 17 sorry 17 minus 8 this is simply 9 but here as this employee is working on night shift mean he started working on 4 am before even before morning and he stopped working on 17 that is actually 5 pm so as you know 4 is smaller than 17 so when we what we do 4 minus 17 the answer is in negative and we know that time can never be negative and when it answer here is in negative it shows us error because we are trying to calculate time right and time can never be in negative so what is that uh, solution here actually the thing is one thing is here that uh, mostly people when face this problem they just work ma uh, manually they just uh, calculate manually and just they will write here 11 hours but here this is okay here we have very small amount of data but what if we have a lot amount of data you can see here here we have more than 250 employees so if we try to use the same thing if we do time out minus time in and just we drag it down and you can see here here we have a lot of errors wherever any employee has night shift we have error so uh, we cannot work manually this will take a lot of time right so we need to find out any solution for this so what is solution for this uh, problem solution for this problem is very simple very easy you need to use just a simple and small function what is that function that function is mod function how we can use this let me show you equal sign mod function bracket open again bracket open then time out minus time in bracket close comma one bracket close and here we go this formula will work on everything mean if uh, time out is smaller than time in or whatever we just drag it down and you can see here there is no error just we will try on this uh, the huge amount of data and we see that in more than 250 employees if we have any error with this uh, function or no so so just mod function bracket open bracket open time out minus time in bracket close comma one bracket close and just let me track it down and you can see here there is no error i can show i can ensure you there will be no error because i know this i have worked on this formula i think uh, since more than 2 years so i'm sure there will be no error if you will use this formula in uh, if uh, while you are calculating the 
uh, actual hours worked by an employee in timesheet there will be no error i'm sure so uh, that's all friends if you like this video don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel and uh, share this knowledge with your friends because i know there are a lot of people are suffering from this problem and they cannot they don't know how to figure this out so it will be better if you can share with your friends so see you in next video thanks for watching bye bye